Yeah, I mean, I'm not giving up on the bill, that's for sure. Let me kind of say that from the beginning. I don't think it's something that um, we should just kind of uh, move on. I think there's many uh, members of my caucus that really want to do that either. So I think, um, you know, as far as the bill being, you know, dead or not moving, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that at this point. But I mean, I, I think the reality of it is that we're at that point in which there's been so much development on the bill and I go all the way back to the beginning of the session when the corporation started building that bill in a way that ultimately did, didn't have much rulemaking room, that, you know, this has been a long time project, so we'd get there. So, um, you know, I'm not giving up on the bill, but I do think that we're under a serious time crunch now, and I really wonder if Senator Schultz, you know, can get there. Um, we went to the floor today, uh, because I really believe that there were some votes on the other side of the aisle. Um, either uh, somebody got to them or they didn't deliver or, you know, it, it was pretty clear that, um, you know, that was one of the reasons we brought the bill to the floor. So uh, we go back to the drawing board. But the problem is, you know, you're going to start to push the assembly off the back of the wagon. You're going to start to push other members of, the, of my caucus off the back. And um, we're at that tipping point now where I don't know how we can pull something together. What about a special session or extraordinary session? I mean, yeah, I, I mean, the, the reality is you got recalls coming up. You know, so, you know, what typically would be probably, uh, you know, kind of a non charged environment to do something like that would be fine. But again, you've got people that are out there on the campaign trail. And, and uh, but again, I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, I think it is something that we're going to have to go back and take a look at, but um, you know, this evasive 17 vote, 17th vote now is um, it's it's going to become more and more difficult to find because I just don't know what these guys are looking for. It's a moving target right now. That's clear to me. What Senator Jauk and 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 what Senator Schultz have been discussing is a moving target. Republicans claim victory in last summer's recall elections given the vote today. Well, you know, I mean, that's a good question because um, prior to those recall elections, you know, Senator Jauk actually told me he didn't think this thing could get done with a Democrat majority. So, I mean, there was discussion about almost, I mean, Senator Jauk didn't say this, but boy, I hope Republicans keep control, otherwise they're never going to get that mining bill done. And I think that's pretty evident right now based on where we're at that, you know, I'm not sure what will happen in November, actually, not just the recall, but November. But... Um, you know, it's just another deadline that's out there right now. So. Am I hearing you say that you're calling it quits on this? No, I didn't say that at all. I mean, what I said was we're under a time crunch now. And the problem is you're trying to get extensions. You're trying to get the assembly to buy into this. You're trying to get, you know, your caucus to continue to revisit the issue. And it becomes more and more difficult, I think. We're at that tipping point where, fine, you try and get Senator Schultz and Senator Jauk and all of a sudden you push people off the other side because they're just not going to continue. There were Did you have some kinds of assurances that some Democrats would vote for this bill today? I never spoke to any Democrat senator specifically about that provision, but I was hopeful that, um, that there would be a Democrat vote today. It just didn't show up. And, you know, and, what, and there was a lot of speculation and discussion, uh, especially in Milwaukee, right. about who that might be, whether it was Cogs or... or uh, Carpenter certainly, you know, uh, talk radio was on Senator Larson for a couple days. I mean, there was a lot of discussion about that. And, and I think with, you, with the unions, specifically the trades unions, uh, getting engaged, that I thought that actually, uh, you know, that those guys could make the case that, hey, these are going to be union jobs up north. And as a result of that, we think some of these Democrat senators should support this. I was hoping that was coming together. No confirmation of that, but I was hopeful. And it just didn't happen today. If how much are you guys still talking to GTAC? I mean, is it sort of a guessing game of what they do or are not support, or do you have a pretty clear idea from them? Uh, I think it's more on a technical aspect. I mean, if there are discussions, it was kind of in the drafting part of what finance did to try and get the specifics right and see kind of where they're at. I mean, I personally have not had any discussions with them, but I know that, you know, in the development of and the discussions that were happening within the finance committee that 
you know, they were part of that discussion.